Hey, this is Kendra McRae, and welcome to the solution for Workout Wednesday 2021, week nine. Can you hide a chart in the map layers? So this week's challenge features one of my favorite um, new features out of version 2020.4, which are the unlimited map layers. And so we have a map here, and so all we'll want to do is just click on one particular country, and then it will pop up with just that country and also a donut chart that highlights what percentage of the population are urban dwelling. So let's go ahead and start building this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect to data. And so this is using world indicators that's directly out of Tableau. Um, I know this features multiple years of data, so I'm just going to go to the most recent one, which I think in this case is 2012. We're going to build three measures and one parameter. So let's go ahead and build our parameter or create our parameter. We'll call this country and it will be a string list. We'll get this from here and we'll just set it to oh, we'll add none you can use blank but i just like to add none with some more control all right let's build our measure so i'm going to have population rural so this percentage of population that's rural so this is just one minus the percentage of the population that's urban um, then I'm going to build my all countries measure. So this is basically saying that if someone hasn't selected any particular country, then, you know, basically default to all the countries. So if country equals none, then country end. This one is the selected country, so this is basically saying if someone has selected a country, basically only show that country. So if right. and then what we're going to do is give those some geographical properties or roles. So we're going to set that to country region. Okay. So we have our, all our measures and we have um, our, our stuff. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is just double click all countries to bring that into the view. All right, we're going to set this to a field map. All right, we're going to drop region onto our color shelf. We're going to just, I think it's like Muriel stone is what I had leveraged are used so purple for that one yeah okay cool all right i'm just gonna just edit and just do some of the, the formatting for the map this is a dark map. We're going to remove all of the layers. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start building our layer, our map layers. So the first thing, so now that we have it working, so nothing is selected. And just to kind of show you that, we'll just show this parameter. So none is selected. Um, so then we'll want to bring in our um, our layer that says, hey, if someone selects a country, show this. And I'm gonna bring make this detail piece and I, I wanna color the country by the region still. And, and just so you see how this can work, I'm just gonna basically just mimic the dashboard action but make it a worksheet action so it's a parameter action here we'll call this country and we'll set it to none 
All right. And let's see if it works as expected. All right, kind of. Um, and so we'll change that to a field map. Yep. So that's exactly what we would want to see is if we select on a particular country, we only see that country. So then we have to continue building. Um, and we need to, because we need to get that donut chart. So the way that we're going to get there is by adding another layer just for that selected country, because again, it only pops up on the selected country. And we're going to actually make this mark type a pie chart type. Oops. Come on. And we are going to, under the angle, we just want the percentage of rural and um, urban dwellers. So we're just going to uh, put our measure values here. Now it's going to pop all those. We don't need all of them. So we're just going to um, select the ones that we want to shoot see on this um, donut chart okay and then we're going to um, and just to make sure it's everything is working as expected so then we see our dot there so probably need to make our donut chart way bigger than that all right that's more like it um, make it a little bit more visible but I want my different pie slices to be different colors, right? To represent rural versus uh, urban. So I'm just going to throw my measure names in color and I'm just going to recolor those. And I think I was using like the CL grays, light gray for urban, dark gray for rural, and we're 90% there. And so then the next step is to add another layer because I want a donut chart, not a pie chart. And I want to just throw this into the detail. Um, and I want to make that circle fairly large because again, it's a donut chart. And I want like kind of a thin, oops, not that thin. All right. And then I want to get this circle um you know to be the same color as my my country so i'm just going to throw that on there and then i'm going to make my circle just a tad bigger give me a little bit more space and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our population urban and we're just going to drop that on the text area we'll probably just need to format the number format here Awesome. And it's the only bad thing about, so just sometimes to give me full visibility as to what's happening here, I'll just set the, the color, uh, the text color a little bit differently. And I'll just say urban dwellers. And then I want this to be much larger. So let's make this 36, I don't know. And I think I want the text color to be black. Say OK. And we'll change the alignment to be within the actual circle. And there you go. We now have our hidden donut chart. So if we select any